So you want to delete an employee's access to your Google Workspace setup because, well, they don't work for you anymore. It sounds easy enough, but the worst thing you can do is rush into this action. There's a bit more to it than just deleting the employee's account. You need to decide whether you even want to delete the account. Maybe you want to archive it instead. And if you do delete it, you need to consider whether you or someone else will need access to those files and or email history after the employee leaves your company. You'll also need to decide whether you still want to receive emails that are sent to that employee's address after their account has been deleted. Don't worry if that all sounds a bit overwhelming. I'm going to go through exactly how to do all of this step by step in this video so that you can successfully and correctly delete an employee's account. Hi, this is Priya from That Online Stuff and I help small business owners with usable and practical advice for their Google Workspace setup. So the first thing you need to decide is should you archive or delete the employee's account. In both cases, the employee loses access to your Google Workspace, but when you archive an employee's account, you still pay a limited license fee preserving their account and data like emails, files and calendar events. So it's easy to retain access to that data and to reactivate the employee in future. Because you're still paying for that license though, even at a reduced rate, you can't transfer their email address or any alternate emails or alias emails that they might have to anyone else in the business. When you delete an employee's account, all associated data is permanently deleted although there is a small window in which you can reactivate the user and recover their data. If they return to the company after that window has closed, then you'll need to set up a completely new account for them. When you delete an employee, their license, i.e. their email address and any alternate emails or alias emails can be transferred to someone else in the business. So which option should you use? Archiving should be used when you need to retain a user's data for legal or compliance reasons and don't want to transfer all that data into someone else's account or when there's a possibility that their account may need to be reactivated in the future. Deleting should be used when you are certain the user will never need to access your Google Workspace again. Okay, so you've decided to delete the employee's account. Excellent, you're at the right video. The next thing you need to decide is do you want to keep access to the employee's data and emails once their account has been deleted? There's no action required right now, but the decision needs to be made before you start the account deletion process. And then the final decision, do you want to keep receiving emails that are sent to that deleted account? Again, no action required right now, but it's best to make that decision now before you start the deletion process. So in this scenario, we're going to delete a user without transferring their data. The first thing you'll do is go to admin.google.com and go to the user directory. Click on the user's name for the employee that you're going to delete. And on the right hand side, click on more options and then delete user. If you're given the option to archive instead, make sure you click on delete user instead. Then click on don't transfer data and delete user. And their deletion will take place immediately. Okay, but what if you want to retain the employee's emails and other Google Drive data or reuse their email address? To transfer emails properly, you need to do the following. Gain access to the employee's account by changing their password. Log in as the employee and label all their emails with the employee's name. Then start the deletion process for that employee. Click on Migrate Emails and enter the employee's email address. Click on Authorization. Go back to the employee's email inbox and accept the authorization request. Return to the Migrate Emails tab and go through all the steps, including entering the email address of the employee to whom the emails will be transferred. 
Once you've confirmed the emails have been transferred, restart the deletion process. Enter the name of the employee who will receive all the data and click on Delete User. And that's it. You've successfully deleted the employee's account. Now, if you decided not to reuse the employee's email address, then you're done. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you. Please leave a comment below if it did. But if you do want to use the email address, you've got one final step to take. Go back to your admin console and search for the user who will be receiving those emails now. Go to alternate emails and add the address of the email of the employee who has left. They'll now receive any e emails sent to that former employee's email address. And that is finally it. You've successfully deleted an employee as well as transferring their emails and Google Drive data and allowed for emails to be received by somebody else. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was of assistance to you. Remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.